there. Yeah, a, t- a 10 year old girl just been admitted for emergency with peritonitis. Uh, she's okay. been unwell for the last two days, very unwell for one day. The child is extremely ill, a perforated appendix is suspected. She's being resuscitated by your registrar before being taken to the operating theater. Your consultant, Mr. Mann, is on his way from home and will perform the operation. You've been instructed to see the child's father. Um, I will be the father and yes. explain the situation. You did not have the opportunity to see the child yourself before she was taken to theater. Okay. Okay. Okay, should I start? Yeah, go on. Uh, Hello, this is Dr. Saad. I am one of the surgical doctors looking after your child. May I please confirm your name, please? Hi, my name is Dala. And you are the father, right? Yeah, I am the father for for Abigail. Uh, Okay, so are you by yourself? Do you want to wait for someone? Yeah, doctor, just me here. I'm really worried. What's happening? Can you please confirm what's happening to me? Uh, yes, uh, before I tell you about all about your daughter, uh, may I hear from you in your own words, what do you know so far? What have you been told? I don't know, doctor. I, I'm, I'm really worried about about her. I think it's my fault. She has been, she's been really ill for two days and um, we thought it's fine and she's going to be all right. And then suddenly she became very unwell and uh, she was actually at my neighbor's house who took her and brought her to the hospital. And um, yeah, because I was just so busy at work and I feel really guilty. I feel like it's my my own fault. And um, yeah, we think that she has infected appendix. I, I know what it is and I know it's very serious and I'm very worried about her. So what's going to happen now? Uh, yes, first of all, thank you. You are very brave in telling me your concerns and that you are feeling guilty. Let me reassure, assure you. Uh, I'm sure you are doing your best and you have been quite busy and these types of illnesses are quite commonly missed. So please don't feel guilty. So what has happened with your daughter? Are you happy to tell? uh, Are you happy for me to tell you? Yeah, please explain to me. Okay, so uh, what has happened is uh, actually there is an uh, organ or a part of your uh, bowel that is known as yeah, the appendix i presume you mentioned that you have heard of it so yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah this is your bowel uh, this is what we call is the large bowel so uh, at one of their ends that is the right side of the lower abdomen there is a little part known as the appendix so what happens in some cases this appendix get inflamed that is it swells up and it causes the pain so in such a case, uh, most of the time, uh, we have to uh, do an operation to take it out. So what did happen, like you said, uh, your daughter was with the neighbor and she, uh, she was brought in with severe pain in her uh, tummy over the right side and she was quite ill when she arrived. So what we did is uh, we gave her some uh, uh, fluids and some antibiotics. Uh, but after reassessing her and doing some investigation, uh, that is, we did an ultrasound, that is the jelly scan. We found out that the appendix was swollen and it was causing uh, the lining, uh, the layers of her abdomen to get swollen as well. So I'm sorry to tell you this, but we had to take her into the theater immediately and we are prepping her up for surgery. I know that you must be anxious and angry that we did not. No, no, sorry, doctor. Wait for did it. you just say, did you take her already to theater? Uh, we are prepping her up. She's in the pre op. How would you know if it's appendicitis? It could, be, it could be something simple. It couldn't be appendicitis, could it? Are you sure it's appendicitis? Uh, that's a very good question. And uh, uh, the correct answer to this we cannot be sure appendix is a very difficult diagnosis to make and we are uh, not really sh- we are not really uh, we cannot really confirm that this is appendicitis unless we go inside so and we have can't a look confirm why are we taking out the theater if we can't really confirm that it's appendicitis how are you going to operate on someone that you don't know the surgery or what they have really 
Okay, so we did the clinical examination and we did the ultrasound and on the balance of probabilities and what we discussed in our surgical team, we have a last surgical team and we came to the conclusion that this is most likely to be appendicitis than, than something else. And appendicitis in such a case, the symptoms your daughter came in with is the most, uh, one of the most serious diagnoses. So I think you might agree that it's, uh, it's, um, it's necessary to rule out or to treat uh, the most serious condition first so that we don't miss it and, and then it turns into something more serious. So to reiterate, uh, I think we, are, we have a strong suspicion that this is appendicitis and we as a medical team has making the decision after looking at our investigations and the ultrasound, the jelly scan, that it's better to look inside and to remove the appendix if indeed it is swollen. Are you following me? Yeah, I am following, but I don't know. So you, you're now you're exposing her to risks of the surgery. I would assume that this surgery has some risks, doesn't it? Yes, the surgery has risk. Unfortunately, no procedure is without risk. So are you happy for me to explain to you the risks of the surgery? Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Okay. So the procedure we are going to do for her is known as a laparoscopic appendectomy. That is the keyhole method. Uh, we make three small incisions in her tummy and through a small camera, we look inside and we remove the appendix. So the benefit of this procedure is that uh, the swollen appendix will be removed. There are some risks that are associated with anesthesia. And I think the anesthetic team are on their way and there will be, they will be better placed to discuss this with you. There are some risks associated specifically with this surgery. General risk like uh, scarring. And the beauty of this operation is that it is a keyhole method. So the incisions will be small and we try to close it up as beautifully as possible. But scarring actually depends on the patient rather than uh, we all scar differently. Okay. So other risks can be bleeding, uh, infection. Uh, but we will give her antibiotics. We have already given her a single dose and we will continue to give her antibiotics after the surgery. So it is something we can deal with. And uh, other risks are bleeding. Um, uh, that can happen in a percentage of patients, but it's, it's something uh, we can deal with. Uh, are you following me so far? Um, yeah, I am. It seems like a lot of risks to me, to be honest. So. So how many scars are you going to have? Uh, yes, I do agree that these risks seem a little bit more. Um, but my advice with, to you is that this is the best thing that can be done with your daughter. I have kids myself and I would not suggest something and uh, that is not for your kids benefit. So my advice with to you is that we'll go through with the surgery and it's the it's in your child's best interest. Uh, what was the second question again? Sorry. About the score, please. Uh, oh, yes. There will How be many three scars. scars. Is gonna have? There will be three scars. It should be around uh, uh, around one to one and a half centimeter in size. One will be uh, uh, at the around uh, the umbilicus, a little bit above the umbilicus, and two other small scars will be around the uh, right side and the left side of her uh, tummy. Yeah, doctor, I'm, I'm just quite worried about something else as well. Is okay, she going to get pregnant? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, uh, such kind of diseases, they have a risk of uh, some, what we call in uh, medical terminologies is adhesions. Don't worry if you don't remember them. Uh, I will uh, give you a leaflet so that you can read in more detail about it. But yes, there is a risk that uh, they may cause some kind of adhesions to her uh, lady organs. And yes, there will be a risk of infertility, but I think it's too early to uh, worry about these things. And hopefully uh, when something like that comes, we'll, we can deal with it. At present, I think it's better we proceed with this surgery. Are you following me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, so, so is, is to she currently in theater? 
uh, she is in the pre-op room. Uh, my consultant is uh, on his way, uh, and uh, as soon as the anesthetists are ready and they have talked to you, uh, she will be in the theater and can start the that? surgery. Can I see? Uh, uh, I am sorry, but uh, she is in a room that is, uh, you know, that's uh, that's part of the operation theater, and it's like a clean zone. And I don't think it's advisable for you to go there right now. Uh, I don't think it's something. Uh, I don't think you'd want uh, your daughter to be at the risk of an infection. I hope you understand, and I'm so sorry yeah. for that. Okay. All right. Would I see her after the surgery? How long would it take? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 it's uh, very difficult to give a time frame, but a laparoscopic appendectomy usually takes around uh, one to one and a half hours. And yes, when she has undergone the procedure, I will take you to meet her. And yes, you can meet her after that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So to recap, uh, your child came in with an inflamed appendix appendix and we have taken her and uh, we are going to take her to theater to do a laparoscopic appendectomy and uh, we, I have explained to you the risks and benefits of the procedure and you are happy for me to proceed. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so do you have any questions for me? No, that's it. Thank you. Okay, so I'll give you my bleep number and please feel free to call me whenever you have doubts and hopefully in a couple of hours uh, we will be with your daughter and we can have a conversation with her then okay all right thank you okay 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 so it was a little long around 11 minutes yeah it's fine uh, i think i made it long on purpose i asked you extra question that wasn't there but yeah. i i felt like to to practice your communication is even better than Finishing on time. I think you, you have time anyway to study. So yes. I think the main thing is to get your communication posted. Uh, yes. And the time will come after all. So I think, yes. so let me go back to the start of your if your scenario. So you started quite well. You confirmed the relation. Uh, that's very important to confirm the, the, the relative relation. Yes. And don't don't assume, don't say, don't start by saying, uh, I'm, I'm looking after your daughter and then ask me how are you related to her okay. just say I, I i would assume in the exam you will have the patient name so you will say yes. i'm looking after whatever her name is and then mm. can i confirm what's your relationship to her yes okay, okay. okay. yeah and uh, that's the first one and then i was feeling guilty you try to um i mean uh, get rid of that you know fe feeling guilty but it's quite important as well to be aware of any safeguarding issues oh, okay yes, yes. I, I think I, I missed that i know in this scenario it's it, it there isn't really any safeguarding issue but you can ask uh, do, you, do you work on the day where is your wife where do you, who do you live with uh, um, oh. is she normally at the you know um, your neighbor's house all the time things like that okay 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 maybe you can ask like a general question at the end how is your home status like can you tell me more about this yes and so on yes okay? yes so yes. that's that's the one important important one. Okay. Uh, anything else? Let me see. When I asked, when I was like getting mad, and is it definitely appendicitis? I think you could have explained this in less time. Uh, yes. Uh, so so for example, and also you can make it more slick as well. So for example, yes. the way I would say it here, I will say, well, so I mean, I'm telling you, are you sure it's appendicitis? Why are we taking her without? Uh, knowing for sure, so you can say, well, I'm, I'm, I would have to explain to you. This is a very good question, but let me explain to you. Appendicitis is one of those diagnoses that has come with clinical diagnosis. So it's one of those that we don't have to do any further exam, like I mean, any CT or imaging for the patients. And also, the operation itself, part of it is to diagnose the patient, and another part is to treat her as well. Okay, so, okay. Um, so it's a very serious condition. Uh, that's why we have to have a solid diagnosis um, okay. uh, and taking her to theater is actually part of the process of diagnosing your patient or diagnosing okay. your patient. Okay? Uh, so when you say that, so you're, you're saying very openly, no, we don't know. It could be a 
and we can open and we'll find it normal, but we'll have to take it anyway. All right. Okay. So just say okay. that to the patient very clearly and very openly. And instead of explaining so long, just make it short sentence. So I'm going to do it again. I'll say that's a very good question. Um, so I would not say that this is definitely appendicitis, but I cannot rule it out as well. I cannot say that it's not appendicitis. So the only way that we can say if it's not appendicitis is by actually looking inside the abdomen by a scope uh, or the, uh, the and this is what why we're taking it to cater. We'll have a look. Yeah. It's appendicitis. We'll have to take it out, All right? Oh. To, to, okay. to look and also do some wash out to the abdomen as well. Okay. Um, okay. This is the only one, the only part that I felt like you could have explained it better. The risks, yes. you know the risks, but like I think we discussed this before, you know the risks very well, but the way you explain the risks need to be, you know, in clusters and in chunks. So, for example, I would oh. say, um, so of course, we're doing every surgery will come with some risks. There'll be some small incisions, each one will be like, half centimeter to one centimeter wide uh, and it's a three incisions um we'll close it nicely like you said um there is also a risk of infection from this incision uh and then take a take away the pose and the check if they are following with you you don't have to ask if i'm following with you you can just take a pose and see how they react all right yes, and then okay. move forward and say there are other risks where it could be this and this but these are um, low risk it can happen, but you need to be aware of that. Uh, we'll, and it's something that we can deal with as well. But you know the rest very well. I would have just advised maybe take shorter time and um, maybe take some poses in between to make your patient understand and what you're saying. Okay. okay. The okay. scar, you said it well, uh, the pregnancy. So I would use the term subfertility rather than infertility. So okay. it, it's not really infertility, it's likely to be subfertility. Um, which is which is different infertility. That means she's not going to get pregnant. So we just say it's on one side. There is risk of adhesions. Uh, she might be subfertile, but it's something that we can deal with later on. All right. Yes. Okay. And of course, you can say here. Uh, however, like I explained earlier, this is a serious condition. Uh, despite I appreciate that being fertile is something very important for women, uh, but um, this is something that can lead to something as serious as sepsis and consequently being very unwell and having to go to, you know, ICU or death or even death. You can mention this word, but maybe not very directly to the patient, but you can use it. Yeah, that's it. But that overall, uh, it was uh, it was good, but it was just, you need to take shorter time and explanation of the risks and um, the other few things that we talked about. Yeah.